The images, they are hard to forget, especially for those that are directly impacted by the deadly tornadoes that tore through North Texas in May. The rebuilding and recovery has been slow going these past few months. Amelia McGovro is on your corner in your corner in Cook County with how some storm victims are facing challenges beyond the cleanup. We can't do anything with that until the insurance. For Todd and Lisa Smith, their days are mostly spent like this. Cleaning up piles of scrap metal, concrete, wood, all pieces of their farm left behind by a deadly tornado back in May. We've cleaned up about 60 acres so far. We've got about 75 acres to go. We're, task. <laughs> yeah, it's a very daunting task. Smith Farms took a direct hit, the storm turning their barns and buildings into a pile of debris, damaging their fences, pastures, even forcing the couple to sell all their cattle. It was a very tough decision to make. Hopping on their tractor, the Smiths then showed us the damage, littering nearly every acre. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a mess. Plastic here, but even if they ate that, that's sharp enough that it can puncture their stomach lining, which will kill them. So this is why we had to sell our cattle. Right now we're on the outskirts of the Smith family farm and you can see their fence is still lined with debris. This sign right here, this is actually from a gas station a mile and a half away. So needless to say, there's a lot of cleanup left to do. But now the unspoken battle that the Smith family and other storm victims are now facing is the battle to get insurance money. The Smiths say the process has not been easy, having to spend hours and hours on the phone fighting for every cent. You know, and then it's reliving it every single day. It's hard. It's hard and it's emotional and it's, it's emotionally draining. The way it's set up is you're, it's almost like you have to prove how much they owe you. While the Smiths wait for payment, other storm victims wait for justice. Tedious process. Insurance attorney Luis Gonzalez says his office helps thousands of Texas clients who are wrongfully denied storm insurance every single year. I would say this is the um, untold truth. When you deal with the disaster, you think that insurance companies, agents, and adjusters are going to be there to help you. Yeah, that's actually not true. They're the insurance carrier's agent. FEMA assistance is available to those who qualify, the underinsured or uninsured. Gonzalez says the best way to avoid getting denied is to document. I would say report your claim quickly, document your damage, videos, photographs, um, any as much evidence as you can of the damage. Um, if you can, even take some before photographs as well. For now, the Smiths are staying in good spirits. We have now picked up $9 so far out in the pasture. <laughs> <laughs> Thankful for all the donations, volunteers, and love from their community. The Smiths hopeful all of this will be home once again. Uh, life goes on, and we'll make adjustments, and we'll, we'll keep moving forward. Don't know if we can get back to where we were. I doubt that we can. But yeah, I mean, we'll keep going the best we can. In Valley View, Amelia McGovro, CBS News, Texas. Well, Amelia certainly cares about North Texas because she is North Texas. She was born and raised in DFW, and she is committed to telling the stories that impact you. You can contact her at In Your Corner at KTVT.com if you've got a story.